One of the best receivers in Broncos history has called it a career after 10 seasons in the NFL, eight and a half with the Broncos. Demarius Thomas has officially retired alongside Eric Dalala. I am Phil Milani. Eric, when you think back about DT, what stands out to you? Yeah, I mean, I think there's two things. On the field, you think about a big physical receiver who could go up and get the ball. He'd body out opposing cornerbacks, just dominant. He, you know, he'd stiff arm people and then take off 80 yards down the field. He was part of those big moments, the, the catch from Tim Tebow, part of the Peyton Manning era, and then kind of helped usher in this era with Cortland Sutton. But then off the field, Phil, just a beloved guy in the Broncos locker room, in the Broncos building. It was difficult to see him go in 2018, but just a fun-loving guy, a kid at heart, somebody, you know, everything you want in a football player. Yeah, he was really a leader for, in that wide receiver room for so many years there. Uh, uh, every time there was a media availability, you wanted to hear what uh, Demarius Thomas had to say, always making jokes and, and that type of thing. But when you think about on the field, He's been a part of some of the biggest moments in recent Broncos history. That Tim Tebow catch in the playoffs to uh, win in overtime like that. Such a memorable moment. Caught 509 from Peyton Manning. And then uh, even Super Bowl 48, you forget most of that, but he set a Super Bowl record at the time. It's since been broken, but he had 13 catches in that game. Yeah, and then you talk about after Peyton Manning is gone, and it, people said, hey, well, is he doing this just because of Peyton Manning? Well, no, in 2016, has another 1,000-yard season, the fifth of his career, makes the fifth Pro Bowl of his career, and shows he's still a dominant receiver. I mean, even that year, you think of a game against the Saints. He goes up and he plucks one out of the end zone. You think of the, the seven-touchdown game against the Ravens for Peyton Manning. He catches a screen pass and takes it all the way. I mean, just so many plays that stand out from DT's career. So explosive. Such a dynamic athlete out there on the field. Eric, when you think about where he ranks here in Broncos history, he's had some of the best single seasons uh, in franchise history. Most receiving yards in a season tied for the most touchdowns in a season. Where do you think he stacks up? Yeah, I mean, you talk about a guy who had he had one more, one or two more years, he's on track to, to pass Rod Smith's all-time records. Didn't quite get there, but certainly I think it's Rod and DT in terms of the top two receivers in Broncos history. And it, maybe it's a coin flip in terms of if you could just pick one to put on your team, who you'd take. Not sure if he's quite at the Hall of Fame level, just in terms of didn't have those all pros necessarily, and obviously a, a great era for wide receivers right now, but uh, I think no doubt that he's going into the ring of fame sooner rather than later. Yeah, it, he benefited definitely from Peyton Manning coming right when DT was entering the prime of his career. Uh, he's second in uh, franchise in, fr in the franchise record books in uh, receiving yards, third in reception. So uh, we should be making our ring of fame plans, right? Yeah, a first ballot guy, no question in my mind. And it'll be exciting to welcome him back at some point. You know, he is a guy that fans loved. Um, he loved the fans. And you think about the thunder and lightning pairing with Emmanuel Sanders. I mean, those were some of the best times of this decade. And, Phil, he had the best social media post of this decade when he tweeted the where yours at young fella picture of his Super Bowl ring to Josh Norman. That was as good as it got. That's a nice little roast. I, I, I'll admit that. I like, a, I like a good roast from Demarius Thomas every now and then. Uh, Part of the greatest statistical offensive season in 2013 with Peyton Manning and all those guys, uh, Wes Welker, Julius Thomas, uh, the list goes on and on. He had a, a tremendous career, so we'll uh, be uh, excited to welcome him back. It was tough when he got traded away and then happened to play Houston right away, had a nice moment uh, when he was out on the field there. Yeah, I mean, there's some players that you just have an emotional connection to because of how long they've been here. And DT has talked about when he came to Denver from Georgia Tech as a rookie, he, he was just a kid and he had a lot of growing up to do. And he kind of grew up in Denver, uh, became the man he is here. And just like we've said, a great guy off the field, a tremendous player on the field. And can't wait till he uh, gets his name up there in the ring of fame. Yeah, well, we wish uh, Demarius Thomas the best as uh, he enters into this next chapter of life. Congratulations on a great career. Ten seasons in the NFL, eight and a half here in Denver. Demarius Thomas officially retiring. For Eric Dalla, I'm Phil Milani.